friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am just folding some laundry this afternoon and I decided to turn on my camera and give you guys an update of what's been going on. A lot has happened since I've last filmed and I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I filmed. I've been wanting to film and actually did film and then I didn't edit and upload because of just a bunch of things going on and so Hey, I decided, you know what, I'm doing this. I'm going to turn on my camera and give you guys an update. What's going on? If you're new to my channel, my name is Laura. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, if you're not new, thanks for coming back. It's been a while and I appreciate you coming back and watching the video. First things first, if you've been watching or you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, links will be down below. You may notice I'm not pregnant. <laughs> There's a baby over there. I will be filming a video soon, um, introducing you officially to Emmanuel and just telling you a little bit about his story, where to start, where to start. It's been absolute ages since I've been posting. I guess the best place to start is just explaining why I stopped filming videos um, and posting for a little while and it wasn't because I wanted to, in fact I really really want to do this. I want to, I want to do this because this is something that I want as a hobby for myself. I want something that I do that's for me, of course it's for you guys, but for me, that I enjoy. That's not just like about my kids all the time. <laughs> um, but when I was pregnant with Emmanuel, I was not feeling well. And more so than I was with my first baby, Esther. Um, yeah, I definitely just wasn't myself and I was honestly, I was so exhausted all the time. When I got into my first or my third trimester, like the first week of my third trimester, I was so tired. Like it was immediate, like I noticed, oh, I'm in my third trimester. <laughs> and I could sleep, and I'm not joking you guys, I could sleep 10, 12 hours at night. And I could take a two hour nap in the afternoon and I was exhausted all the time. It was really strange, like way more so than I was with my first pregnancy or even just like, it wasn't just because I was sleep deprived, like there was something else going on. I was so, so, so tired all the time and overwhelmed. I was like, emotionally overwhelmed. I found this pregnancy really difficult emotionally for me. Um, I was like sad a lot of the time and just struggling to get our house clean, cook dinner, like, <laughs> you know, the basic things that we do each day. Um, I just struggled with every little thing. And so basically I looked over what I was doing you know, in a, in a day and in a week. And I said, okay, I need to cut out the non-essential things in my life. Things that are not, you know, pertinent to eating, sleeping, <laughs> um, getting some exercise, going out with my toddler, my two-year-old Esther. And you know, I had to I had to cut some stuff out and that was YouTube was one of them, unfortunately. And it was it made me really sad, but I just I couldn't do it. Like I had no energy and I decided it's not worth feeling sad about or beating myself up about. I just want to I wanna do it because I enjoy it, not because I feel like I have some obligation to do it. So I dropped it for a few months, but now that I have Emmanuel, I'm feeling a lot better and um, one of the things that I'm trying to implement, well both my husband and I are trying to implement is some self-care. Some self-care um, separately and together and one of the things that I want to do is I want to try to do YouTube again and just um, be posting on my other social media platforms as well so that I'm doing something for me, so that I, I'm doing something that I enjoy, my hobby. So, um, yeah, that is the basic of why I have not been posting online. We don't exactly know 
what everything like what happened but there might be a good explanation and a good reason for why I was so tired so a couple weeks before he was born um, I went to the hospital I had to call an ambulance and we went to the hospital I was having very severe chest pain and um, shortness of breath and dizziness and um, anyways I spent a few days in hospital and they did all kind of tests on me and basically I was diagnosed if I'm to use like you know layman's terms I was diagnosed with a weak heart and they don't know if it's pregnancy related or if it's something I've always had they're not sure exactly what's going on I have a whole lot more tests to get done but it's could explain why I was so exhausted in that last period of pregnancy because of course as the pregnancy goes on your like all your fluid in your body increases and your blood increases your heart has to work harder and so actually there might be a perfectly reasonable physiological explanation for why I was so exhausted like even now that he's here and obviously I'm getting out throughout the night with him and through the day and like, you know, newborn, newborn stage, it's hard. I have way more energy <laughs> than I did um, at the end of pregnancy as well as at the very end I was having chest pain every day. Um, I wasn't able to, you know, even walk very far. Um, I couldn't vacuum the apartment. I couldn't like do really basic things that, hey, you know, like, this is stuff that I was doing every single day and then it just, it became more and more difficult and then I just couldn't do it anymore. So my husband um, has been amazing and has been helping me a ton. Side note, oh, baby clothes, the newborn clothes, oh, it's so sweet. So teeny tiny newborn clothes. That is a summary, a very quick summary of why I wasn't posting videos, but I do want to keep posting. I want it's something that I really want to work on and um, my goal is to be posting regularly on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So if you've been watching me in the past or you're following me in the past, um, I'm so sorry for the gap and I'm going to be making a big effort not only for you guys but also for me to try to um, get back into it and, and just have some fun with it if you have video suggestions or things you want to hear hear about from me um, let me know in the comments down below I definitely will be doing like a proper video on a manual as well as I will be doing kind of a update of how my mentality shifted with pregnancy because at the beginning of my pregnancy I really wanted to trust my body and have like a really hands-off pregnancy. This was my fourth pregnancy so I've had two babies and two miscarriages now and I really wanted to just trust my body and trust its ability to take care of my baby and that was our plan right to the very end, like two weeks before he came is when things started to change. And I want to talk to you guys about just how difficult that was. It was difficult, but also how to make something totally different. Like I had an induction in a hospital with an OB. <laughs> um, how to make that an awesome experience. Because just because you don't have a home birth and it's not this and that, doesn't mean it's not going to be a good experience and it's not going to be an empowering experience. I had a fantastic birth experience. It was amazing, y'all. And um, yeah, so I'd like to just share a little bit about that and some tips. And so if you have any other um, yeah, video suggestions for me, let me know. On a side note, I'm drinking a hot cup of tea today, folding laundry, doing some stuff around the house. Because it is, what it is, it is September 30th. Today is September 30th. And we here in Southern Alberta, we are currently buried 
in about 30 centimeters of snow. It's great. It's the end of September. Tell me, where's, how's the weather where you live? I'm sure it won't stay cold, but this is too early. Too early. We took little man to church yesterday. And I'm not sure that that was wise, honestly, with the weather because he, today he was all congested and I used like the nose Frida and he had so much congestion in his nose. Poor little guy. I felt so sad for him. Just miserable weather. Miserable, miserable weather. <sighs> and um, other than that, he is now three weeks and three days old today. Um, postpartum, I'm doing really well. Probably even better than I did with my first with Esther. I think partially because I knew what to expect, so like the nightly wakings weren't as hard, aren't as hard. And on top of it, he is such a chill baby. Look at him just sleeping on the couch. He's just he's chill. He sleeps really well. And last night I got up with him. Three times, but it would have only been two times, I think, except that he pooped and that woke him up. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's been getting up two or three times a night and it's been fantastic. It's been absolutely fantastic with him. Postpartum has been good. I was not able to rest at the beginning as much as I would have liked to. Um, Emmanuel was in the NICU for a few days and so when I got released from hospital, got released before him, so I had to like go back and forth to the hospital every day, and that was exhausting and stressful, and I just, I wasn't able to rest physically as much as I would have wished, but I've been so grateful for how well I've been doing, like my body really has bounced back quickly, which I did nothing right, like I... <laughs> I can't give you a list of tips for how I did that because I don't know. Um, but it's been really good. And now I have like lots of energy and feeling good. Um, taking care of a newborn is still hard. And a toddler. And I still have something heart related going on, I'm not quite sure. So still taking a bit easier than I normally would. But I'm doing pretty good, which is great. Hope you'll join me for my next video. And thanks for being here. Bye-bye.